Hi, your boy, Red Lions. We're back with another episode review of the DuckTales. Woohoo! I don't know what the fuck we get them doing. But in any case, hopefully I don't drop my goddamn cane this time. But, um, this is another episode of DuckTales. Woo! Well, two episodes. Um, The Great Dime Chase and Day Trip of Doom. Which, God, I freaking love this show. <laughs> Like, this is literally how you do a remake or a reboot of something. You keep it, you keep it, like, because what a lot of cartoon shows do is they try to recapture the, the old thing by doing similar things, but then also dummy it the fudge down to the point where it's like, why even do this? Powerpuff Girls came back. Is terrible. Teen Titans Go! Or Teen Titans Back! Terrible. They make it millennial. And by that, I mean, one, it makes it dated as all heck. And mind you, not saying that, like, there are some jokes in here that might probably be dated later on. Maybe, I don't know. One of them, maybe. But, um, like, not saying that's not the case, but in these. But these feel, one, updated, and still feel like they could, you know, you can watch it years later, like, oh, this is freaking awesome, and it doesn't feel dated at all. Um, unlike, let's say, if we go to Powerpuff Girls, and, like, you know, they just start, ah, just Powerpuff Girls, the Powerpuff Girls thing, or Teen Titans Go. It just feels so goddamn stupid. <laughs> Those feel so goddamn stupid. And this, at least, seems to have fun with everything that they're doing. And it doesn't feel like they're trying to rehash the other ones. And mind you also, um, there's a lot of freaking awesome stuff in this. But basically, the first one, Day Triple Doom, which is basically, basically the kids are having, are screwing around, are screwing around having fun. They decide to go to like a Chuck E. Cheese-esque place. But the Beagle Boys, which it's awesome that the Beagle Boys are in here, and also are given a new look, which is not bad. Um, Beagle Boys come back, or come in, kidnap them. But then the, the kids switch it and kidnap one of the Beagle Boys, and then Donald and and then also while going on, there's a side story where Donald and Mrs. Beakley are kind of going at it because basically Beakley is not thrilled having um, the Duck family in this house, other than Scrooge. Um, the kids are go having awesome Nerf wars, which is freaking awesome. I have like I have like a couple Nerfs. Oh crap, I almost dropped my cane. I freaking love it. Oh, this is one of the best Nerf guns. Um, it's one of the coolest. Uh, but yeah, uh, they're having like Nerf battles, yeah, and Webby is awesome. Everybody knows I played like three times. Webby is freaking awesome. <laughs> I love Webby. Webby's freaking epic, just going around like, what is it? They're just having Nerf wars, but she has like a backstory, and it's like, and she has like. She has like goggles on. She's setting up traps, and she's like, ah, boo, 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 boo. it's freaking amazing. Why are you out? Why are you out? This isn't a foyer. It's your two. <laughs> oh god, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, so basically, what they're they decided to go to a Chuck E. Cheese ass place, and Webby it. Is happy to go along, but this is one of her first times she's ever left the mansion. And because of that, sorry, and because of that, it is, of course, a kind of a fish out of the water story. Even though some of the stuff that Louie does, which I guess I'm trying to pin down what Louie's personality is, personality trait is, because each of them kind of has, even though it's not like, heavily pushed in which i'm happy for but each of them have their own personality trait which is kind of funny in some regards i feel like some of the personality traits again got switched over from quack pack and it does and i feel like there is some inspiration from quack pack that was added to this too because quack pack is kind of a sequel to ducktales but not as good at least from what i've been told and i'm pretty sure if i watch quack pack i will see everything i just said that I've talked about where it's very dated and probably something that's very dumb. But, um... But, yeah, like, uh, what is it? Uh, like, Huey keeping the hat for one. And, of course, there's the cool one. Slick one, whatever. But in, in this, um... 
what is it? Huey Huey is, of course, the smart, nerdy kind of one. Dewey is the heroic, uh, inquisitive one, and then Louie is the lazy, the lazy, uh, the lazy one. <laughs> That's there are three types, and then Webby is awesome. <laughs> ah, God, and so basically. This is freaking awesome. Seeing one Beakley and Donald going at each other, which is freaking fun. Um, Scrooge, I do like how like Scrooge doesn't have to be in all the episodes or be a main part of all the episodes to make them fun. Showing that all these other characters do have or can hold a story, especially Donald. Which one I do like that they don't make Donald like a wimp or something. No, he's actually pretty goddamn strong in this, <laughs> or you strong in the sense that he can take care of himself. Like when he fight. When he finds out the kids are kidnapped and him and Beakley go to save him, he beats the crap out of the freaky, like, big one. And little one just, like, using cartoon speed logic and stuff. I'm like, oh my god, it's freaking awesome. And that makes sense, again, because Donald has been on adventures. Scrooge, I freaking love, like, what is it? Gets, sh gets um, shot at with nerf darts. He freaking throws up, like, a, a dish tray, like, catches all the bullets on it. I'm like, oh, crap! And then on that, too, um... Uh, Louis, I think it was Louis. It was Louis, I think. No, maybe it was Dewey. I can't remember. Basically, goes, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, Huey, or Dewey, whatever. And, and Scrooge just goes, Hi, right, boy, if you're going to get him, don't yell his name. Made a game about surprise. And I'm just like, Oh my God, he's telling them how to murder someone. <laughs> Which gets actually pretty funny later on in the Chuck E. Cheese place. Because basically, what is it? Uh, Louis is using his charming i guess the waitresses there to give him free stuff like one gives him like free tokens i guess he's the flirtatious one too and another one gives him like the cup a cup of water but really it's the bullet for fruit punch which i have done before <laughs> oh god but um which i have done before but mind you the first time i ever did it i didn't know i was doing it because uh quick side thing we think we went to a certain sandwich shop that you say have it your way. Oh, that's for never mind. Uh, we went to a certain sandwich shop and my brother asked for like two cups, two cups for water. I didn't hear the water bit and I filled it up with I filled it up with Coke. <laughs> and there's just, and he's like, dude, I'm like what? He's like, that was for water. I'm like, oh, too late. <laughs> oh god, but um, <laughs> but yeah, uh. But yeah, so that's happened more. Man, basically, uh, Webby tries to do it, and she kind of screws it up. The manager comes in, and <laughs> Dewey, he, he, Louis, like, cut it, cut it, just stop, just stop, <laughs> just, just stop. And, and she, Webby looks at him and just holds up a, and just holds up a freaking spork. Like, sh sh should I kill him? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, Webby's gonna murder Webby's ready and able to murder someone. Um And then of course there's like a guitar DDR point uh game at one point. And of course like Webby screws everything up and even I guess them kicked out, but the Beagle Boys coming because they want to kidnap the kids. Kid uh but it goes awry when it hurt their mom comes in. The main the smaller Beagle Boy gets thrown in. Which one? I do like the, the small Beagle Boys now. The smart one. Again, personalities are swapped in this. Um, I'm pretty sure... Was Louie always the slick one? Maybe the, maybe do, maybe Dewey and Huey's personalities got switched from Quack Pack. I think. I'm trying to remember Quack Pack. It's been like a while. I remember Goof Troop way more. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so basically... They get, there's, basically they get kidnapped, and because Webby's different, she's able to help save the day, and she's able to save the day, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, Beakley and Donald kind of have their own thing where they're going at it, like, Donald's trying to say, like, he, he doesn't need Beakley's help with things, or he doesn't need to ask Beakley for stuff, and so he tries to do things on his own, like, setting generator stuff, but everything goes wrong, and at one point he sets his house on fire, and the pool on fire for gasoline, it's kind of really funny. Um, but, of course, in the end, they team up. And I feel like had to have more respect for each other after the fight. And Donald even says, Hey, Beakley, why are you so... Why are you so strong? 
Oh, okay, that was terrible. I, I sounded more like Stitch. Yeah, nah, twist on it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but, uh, she goes, oh, I'm a spy. Ha, ha, ha. They start laughing. I was like, oh, crap, is she telling the truth? And then the next episode, it, well, that's basically that episode. Next episode after that, Dewey finds, uh, Dewey wants to know about his um, mother, tries to go through Webby's uh, notebook, which she has uh, glitter on it to make big anyone who touches his hands red. I'm like, oh my god, that's amazing and smart. <laughs> but um, Webby does that, he goes, oh, yeah, your mom, yeah, your mom, no one knows about your mom, like, in, everyone who does know disappears. And so they decide to join Scrooge and Louie as they go to um, the money bin because Louie is being a spoiled kid <laughs> to points where, like, he only drinks the first sip of a soda because that's the most fizziness. And then after that, he just leaves the entire can there. And his phone dies. He decides to go buy another one instead of, you know, just charging his phone. And Scrooge is like... Look, I'm rich. You're not. You need to spend money. And mind you, I am a person who believes everything should be a lot, and the world should be a lot easier for everyone. But I do, on that point, I'm like, yeah, but you shouldn't be wasteful. <laughs> you shouldn't be wasteful. If you, have a, if you have five full cans, drink the goddamn cans. Don't just let those fizz out, or that can be your put for any kind of food or anything that's perishable. Don't just throw it away. That seemed very wasteful and stupid. But, um... But, yeah, so, like, uh, Scrooge takes him along for the money... To the money bin, where Louis then loses what he believes is Scrooge's first dime. Has to go around trying to get it. Asking Gyro, which I forgot about Gyro. If I remember incorrectly, he's the scientist guy from the, from the first series where he's actually become a superhero. And he was like... But what is it? Um, oh, God dang it! I remember. I, I loved. I loved his character design. I loved. I loved it. I can't remember the freaking name, but it's basically the he gets like a super buff armored suit. And he has like a visor with like a fin, and then he's like on one wheel, like on what his. Then it's like all on like a unicycle like wheel, and he was like a superhero that came in every so often. I'm like, oh god, I remember that. He was freaking awesome. He had the. He had the Iron Man summoning the armor that comes in, attaches way before Iron Man ever did. It was freaking epic, and I loved it. He was one of my, he was one of my favorite characters. Out of all of DuckTales that I, that I remember, out of all of DuckTales, other than maybe Launchpad, he is one of the main things that I extremely remember, that I extremely loved about that show. Um... I really hope I'm talking about the right thing, unless I'm totally, I, unless I'm totally like getting this mixed up with another duck superhero. Because I don't think it was Darkwing Duck that he was in. No, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, even though I think he might have made an appearance, I want to say Yo Yo. Uh, I, <laughs> I want to say that it was Ducktales. But in any case, um, so yeah, like he had, he he apparently builds robots. And they and they always go with sentient and evil until the and eventually at the end where he says that he should be the robot. And then what else was there? Um, also, I love what Scrooge is with the vulture chart guys. Where um, they're trying to cut expenses and try to like fire some of the people. And Scrooge is like, you know, half these people are crazy, right? If you fire them, they're probably gonna come back with vengeance. <laughs> and the guys are. That's a good point. <laughs> and then what was it? Uh, Huey and Huey and Webby uh, go into the Scrooge archives to try to find find um, the the stuff like news about his mother. But um, they but they have to go through certain trials, like going through the Dewey Decimal, learning about the Dewey Decimal system. <laughs> Dewey, Dewey, um, learning how to put books away, stuff like that, and fight off the crazy librarian. But it turns out that she was actually teaching them how to unlock the thing as they unlocked, as they did the things that would unlock this secret room in the back, which was all of the, all of, um, I think it was Dalla Duck, Della Duck, I forgot that, their, their mother's, like, secret room, I guess, that has all of her belonging, her uh, belongings and her adventures, and then it has a note that says, screw it, I'm taking the spear of whatever, 
I'm sorry. And he's like, wait, what does that mean? Did, did Scrooge get rid of her? Did, did she betray Scrooge? What happened? And and I was and it was pretty good. I love also. Oh, what is it? Dewey tries to do the money dive, and Scrooge just grabs him. He's like, "What are you trying to do?" And he's like, "Trying to do the money dive." He's like, "Are you insane? You'll crack your skull open." It took me years and training to perfect and certain muscle movements to protect myself to do this. I'm like, "My God, I want it! I want! I want a freaking! Uh, I want a a 2017 Ducktales game where Scrooge McDuck's special ability is swimming through money." Oh, my God, that'd be kind of like <laughs> Scrooge makes special abilities swimming through money. You can have like that, like how they did a, the event that one Adventure Time game where it's like a dungeon crawler, but it's like have those old kind of pixel eight pixel kind of well sprites, and <laughs> each one has their own abilities. Like Marceline had floating, which again I played with Marceline. Um, have Scrooge like she, he can dive through money at certain points. I don't know, it just seems awesome, but um. God dang, this show is so goddamn good. I love it. And again, like the, the date, if there's any really dated, it's just that yeah, uh, Louis at one point was looking at his phone while he was going through. Louis was looking at his phone and watching like an like one of those uh, Discovery Channel things, like pawn shops or something like that. The pawn shop shows or whatever. Basically, watch some of that. It's probably like the most quote unquote dated thing in this episode. And I kind of really like that. Again, this is the right way to do a reboot or a remake of one of those classic cartoons. Powerpuff Girls 1. No. The new Powerpuff Girls sucks. Teen Titans Go. No. Because, again, Powerpuff Girls 1. They try to push, I guess, more feminism, even though the original one pushed feminism extremely well and even made fun of the feminism that is happening in this show with um, that one feminist uh, supervillain who only collected Ant Susan B. Anthony coins, which were half pennies, I think. Um, like that, like stuff like that. Like they, 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 they like again. If the Powerpuff Girls one wanted to be a continuation of the original one and wanted to push a feminist point of view more so than the original one did because the original one did very well that was a great show that both kid boys and girls watched girls and boys watched um that's probably like the in FY and when they when I think they sold their toy that Subway or Burger King I can't remember I remember I got some uh but um which is funny too because I hid behind the counter like I was a spy like I need I need the power of girl toys <laughs> but um to think but yeah like that one bad teen titans go one it oh oh ben 10 that is actually a better one to bring up but yeah teen titans go one they they take an awesome cool show and they kind of just dumbed it down to try to be like oh this is like adventure time kind of crazy and dumb without the you know heart and soul of adventure time and that's what the guy is doing with um, ben 10 too trying to make it like adventure time but without any heart or soul in it if anything, Steven Universe probably pulls it off even better, even though that one's not as crazy as Adventure Time. That really still has some heart and soul in it. Um, but yeah, this this show is just becoming like one of my favorites. It is becoming one of my favorites, and I love it. But um, it's probably a very long video. But tell me what you guys in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. For sure, that I don't. Links are on my Facebook, around right there somewhere. I, the mystery is deepening, and I want to know more. I do. And I want to know how this is going to happen because I wonder if it's going to be kind of a Stanford kind of thing with um, D Della Duck. I think her name is Della. I'm not sure. But um, D. Della Duck, Donald Duck. Eh, probably. But uh, anyway, tell me that in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Sure that I've done. Links are on my Facebook. ones around there somewhere. And we will. See you later. Also, I do like that, like, basically, it could be that he, uh, Donald took the kids because one their their you know mom is gone and you know it is kind of like he feels it's his fault and that's kind of why he takes care of them other than loving them is like that is kind of sad and awesome